Hi, Roses. Hi, Red. This is Roses Are Red. I'm Rosetta Marie at the Psychic Ward. I'm going to pull some cards for this energy, find out how you're doing. So the message initially, and what I'm feeling right now, is that there's someone, there's a presence in your life that knows how to be your friend, but it's not your friend. They know what you expect from a friend. They know how to pretend to be that. Like, yeah. You have six of grains in reverse. Mm. So this could be someone who is someone who is very much in need, but they don't show it because maybe in order to be your friend, they have to pretend like they have it all together. And so that's what they do. But they know how to be what it is that you expect. So if you expect someone to be rich or be wealthy, they know how to pretend to, to do that. And that's what they're to try and be the authority figure in your life, because they feel like if they're a friend then they can boss you around and control you in some way. But really, they're in lack and they need from you specifically your energy. That's what I'm getting. I have ten of feathers in reverse. Yeah, this person wants to steal your energy, like Samson still in, or Delilah still in Samson's power. That's what they want. That's why they're coming close to you. They're trying to take away whatever it is that makes you powerful. So these people may be creeping around, lurking, listening to you, trying to analyze what it is that makes you so beautiful, that makes you so unique, that makes you so special, and they're trying to get rid of it. Whether it's your hair, you might have long, beautiful hair. You might have smooth skin, so smooth, clear, uh, blemish-free skin. You might be really athletic. Um, any Anything that's specific to your personality, they're trying to creep in and take control of. So they, if, if, it's, if it's hair, like somebody might be trying to get you to get a haircut. Or, or if it's your physical appearance, like your physique, they may, they may be trying to get you to eat sweets. And this might not be a person uh, in your life. It could be maybe just the energy around you, like a collective group. Someone that does gang stalking you and trying to cause you to isolate. They want you to be afraid of maybe coming out and exposing yourself or expressing yourself. So that's what's making them uncom uncomfortable with this uh, hermit card. So what I'm feeling like right now is the perfect time to absorb rather than let anyone deplete you. Rather than let any, letting anyone deplete you of your energy, you are going to reverse that curse and they're going to get tired. With seven of chests, yeah, so they're acting like they're saying all this and more you can have. But the reality is you control everything that's going on right now. You control the moods. You control the fact that people can even see the light of day. You control the, pa the, 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 the fact that birds want to be nice today. Okay. Yeah, excuse that knocking if you can hear it. Those are my neighbors. So a lot of times I hear stuff going on, but it doesn't actually reach the camera. So that might be the case now. Okay, so you have a clear purpose. And then we have expressive here. So there definitely is something about you being able to express yourself very clearly. Basically, like you come with a purpose and you get it done. Whatever that purpose is, is very clear. And you're a master at it. You could be building your getting better and better every day. Something that you're doing takes practice and you're very, very diligent at it. So this is very clear. Also, like somebody could be trying to shade you with this person wearing sunglasses. But for you, I feel like it's like you have a rosy lens. Everything you see is positive. And you just have this unique way of seeing the good in things, like seeing the silver lining. And literally, silver lining is the light that peaks above a cloud. So I feel like you could just see the beauty in the atmosphere. When you go outside, you can see the sky, you can see the clouds, you can see the trees. Like, you don't walk around with your head down. So if you were in a hermit phase for a while, like staying isolated, keeping to yourself, you definitely have a chance to expose whatever you learned about yourself while being alone to the public. 
Yeah, you definitely have a happy personality, but I feel like there's something about happiness and joy that's very significant here. Like almost like you steal people's joy because they're haters and they only feel good when other people are suffering. And now that you're no longer suffering, you get to be happy, whereas though they'll be sad, you're you're literally taking their happiness away from them. And it feels so good. Yeah, you're like a black hole. So for you, it's very attractive and everything you want comes towards you. Everything in your path is yours, is for you. Nothing can stop you. There's no objectives here. But for anyone who tries to get in your way, it's, it's going to be a major problem. It's going to be a huge issue for them. And they're not going to be able to get out of your grip problems, some physical problems for them. Or they might just disappear altogether, like the sunken place. They might end up in a sunken place, very depressed. They might feel unseen because you have a, a purpose, a clear purpose. Yeah, your light is definitely, definitely not going out. Is like it just constantly burns. And even if it's, it gets the smaller it gets, the more potent it is. Like with a black hole is actually very dense. That's what I feel like about your light is very small, but it's so powerful. And some people are getting too close. They want to give up, but they can't. It's something about like your energy is very contagious. And then here's the hair haircut. This is what I was feeling in the very beginning with the Samson energy. Like someone's trying to make you give up. They want you to give up. They say, go get a haircut, Samson. You don't need all that strength. They're scared of you. That's the reason why. Um, but, you know, they have a good reason to be afraid, especially after what they've done to you. And the fact that you can specifically just go after your enemies you can love your enemies and that's it. You don't have to worry about anyone else getting in your way or trying to pursue anybody else's energy. Just go after the people who have uh, hurt you or try to put their negativity on you. Yeah, because they want a second chance. But the second chance is to continue pretending like they're your friend. But you know that they're not. So you don't have to act like you're hurt in any way. Like this person, it was supposed to be my friend, but they never were. So there's no disappointment here. Um, you don't have to expect anything from them. And that's also deadening their power because they feel like they're going to have to end up giving. They're going to give up. And just get sucked in. Protectiveness. But yeah, they were trying to be like this evil entity and this evil presence around you. But since you're just absorbing everything, it doesn't even matter what they do. But again, I feel like this is going to lead to some type of uh, illness on their part. And that's why it's so precious now that these are your enemies, because I feel like your love is so strong, like you love really hard. And this is why it's better that it's not someone, you know, that doesn't deserve it. This water being in reverse, they're thirsty, obsessed. But it's something like you wouldn't pee on them if they were on fire. In reality, you offer them water and they refuse to drink it, yet they're thirsty. It's something about their energy. It's like almost like they have rabies because it's something about a person with rabies. It's, they don't like drinking water or something. Maybe you're reading a book where this is happening or the Bible there could be a, a prophecy in the Bible that you're reading right now or you're going to be shown. Any more energy for this? Yeah, because I feel like you flipped the script in this case. Like you were running at some point and then you stopped, you turn around 
and now all of these people who were chasing you these groupies you had like a mass crowd following you and trying to attack you um like people with pitchforks etc and now they're just going to suddenly become your groupies 